We weren't good enough this year. At the end of the day, you guys know, we, we all know we, we need change. Uh, I want to be around a winning culture. I want to be around a winning team. And that's up to Mr. Harris and the owners to, to figure that out. We didn't get it done on the field, so we've decided to go into a new direction. The Washington Commanders have hired Adam Peters. Extremely well thought of What's throughout up, the NFL community. Has been ready for his shot. Congrats on DQ. Thanks, man. He's a stud, huh? You have an opportunity to create now. DQ's a, you know. He's a giant killer. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is such an awesome moment. I know you're just starting to know me, and that's going to take some time because building trust, it always does. But I can't wait to start earning it. And I think the structure Harris wants to build is what we see successful around the league. Um, I thought Harris kind of nailed it. Sounds like they're gonna move really fast to try to get the football operations role filled. Uh, I'm gonna be leading that search and uh, I'm gonna be assisted by uh, my partners, Irvin uh, Magic Johnson, Mitch Rails, and David Blitzer, as well as uh, a couple very well-known uh, sports executives. Commanders are hiring two-time NBA Executive of the Year, Bob Myers. What Bob Myers' role is going to be is filling out the organization in every facet with people who are obsessed with winning and competing. Also, Rick Spielman, who was an NFL executive for many years, deep expertise in the NFL, combined with a guy like Myers who knows how to build a winning organization. That's what you want. First of all, I have to say that how incredibly honored I was that I was able to be a part of this group and whatever I can add to the process, what I've experienced, what I've done well, the mistakes I've made, and to share those uh, as we went forward to come up with the results you saw today. The Washington Commanders are hiring Adam Peters, the former San Francisco 49ers assistant GM. Yeah, yeah, it was a very fast process. However, a ton of homework went into this process because uh, Washington, with new ownership, Josh Harris, is a really, really good job. All right. Commander's log. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here today. Exciting day for Washington, for our franchise. And I am super excited to introduce... Adam Peters <clears throat> as the next general manager of the Washington Commanders. Um, I want to thank Adam and his lovely wife, Jen. Nice to meet you and two daughters uh, for choosing our franchise. To me, this is a one of 32. This is one of a very few. and. To be with an organization like this and a city like this, this is a cornerstone franchise, this is a pillar of the NFL. This really might be the best reset in recent NFL history, a league that like teams typically aren't in positions like this. The fan base is regenerated. Josh Harris is hiring everyone under the sun to make sure everything is set up for the next head coach. The town is ready to roll out the red carpet. the resources we have, uh, everything. This is a very unique job that I could not wait to get to and, and it made it very easy for me when, when they offered me this job. It felt right at home, it felt like a family. Everybody was extremely kind, welcoming. They asked hard questions, don't get me wrong. They, they put me through the grind a little bit, but the whole time I felt really comfortable and, and the more that I've met everybody in this ownership group, the more it feels just perfect in terms of the type of human beings that, that's here. And we're gonna keep adding to that. All right, I put my, I put good. my arm around. Right right. <laughs> hey. Yeah, he Emmy, sure. you say hi to Mr. Josh. Can you say hello? Alex, you give him a five? Are you coming home to our hotel? Yes, I will later. <laughs> I was hoping right away. We didn't want to jinx ourselves, but we were, we got really excited and it was it was really our whole family. Uh, we have relatives out here. We have my sister's up in New York. Her mom's up in, Jen's mom's up in New York. So being closer to them 
and uh, just the whole excitement of being out here was really, really fun. You guys saying cheese? Emmy, come M closer. Trying to stand in front of me. And then look at the camera and say cheese. Good job. I love, I love your kids are awesome. Yeah, they helped. So great. Hey, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you coming. Yeah. Yeah. We got through it. Awesome. Great job, guys. Reunited, right? How you doing? Yeah. yeah. To Dream Team Reunited. That's right. Yeah, we go back. We go back. So, yeah. Staying back to the top, man. Day one, I feel like it's just getting started. <laughs> we did all the press and stuff like that. So, I feel like I haven't even worked yet. So, uh, that was that was interesting. But we're going to start right now. We're going to start. First thing is the head coach. We got to find a great head coach. We will find a great head coach. I'm confident of that. And then we're just gonna work 24 seven all the way until the, that last day of the draft. And then we can take a breath, but we are not stopping. We're gonna work tirelessly. We're gonna leave no stone unturned. And we're gonna find great commanders up in this free agency up period in this draft. the 75th edition, and what we hope is the best of the Reese's Senior Bowl. It's been a week of evaluation, not only on the practice field, but in the meetings with teams in the evening. Fellas, <laughs> you ready? We've got real football, and it's the final exam. No, we, we got the predictions, big day. I don't know. I think the the offensive lineman and the defensive lineman I think has been the highlight so far for me. It's like guys first, second, third round. So my name's Pete Piccarelli. Uh, it's my seventh year um, with the organization. I started off as an intern. I spent two years inside the building. I scouted the northeast part of the country for two years, and now this is my third year currently scouting what we call our southwest part of the country. The Senior Bowl for us is senior prospects in the whole country come to Mobile um, for this kind of week period. Um, it's really kind of like a, a common meeting ground for the entire NFL, but really like the, the main focus and kind of resource that we get out of this game is being able to come and see these players play in a real practice game type situation where they're full contact and hitting each other. And this is really the most exciting part of the year for us because, you know, we spend guys um, that are on the college scouting side really spend four or five months secluded uh, away from your families, away from home, uh, going to school calls and really studying and gathering a lot of information. So this is a really exciting time because it kind of feels like a work convention. What's up, man? How you doing? Bro? How you doing? Thanks, buddy. Doing good. What's new with you? I was had some good contact on that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Loud contact. Yeah. Like we like each other. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, remember this crew, man. Look at these guys. Yeah. Y'all were in different. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> How you doing, man? What are you doing? Good. Yeah, we did. That was not. A, that was not. I'm, I'm on camera too, so. Yeah, well, delete. Hey, buddy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you didn't want to be one of a thousand people to text you. I didn't see yeah. you enough, but How you doing, man? Yeah, thanks, man. It's cool, man. I'm happy for you. I know you've been part of a lot of success, and so it's, it's cool to see. This is a unique year because we're kind of full in the feeling the full, you know, gambit of emotions. Um, you know, trying to impress the new bosses, but at the same time, you know, keeping our head down and trying to, you know, stay the course and, you know, not really get out of the norm too, too much. This Doogie Hauser is scouts right here. Nice. <laughs> you probably didn't know who Doogie Hauser is. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Good, Paul. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, you watching your brother? I am. Yeah, he's pretty good, huh? I am. Yeah, that's cool. 6040254. That's bigger than I thought. We're just trying to make sure everybody's a good culture fit. 
um, and that they're going to be able to come in um, and assimilate to our team and to our community pretty easily. What do you do? Do you ever like, do you just watch as a, as a fan and as a brother? Or do, you, do you ever like evaluate guys? Do you ever kind of say, oh, D Lyman's got some good hands or something? Or that kid, uh, Clay Kubiak, coached him in high school okay. in Houston. All right, well, I'm going to hit you up for some scouting advice then. <laughs> the scouting department. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, if we achieve our ultimate goal of winning the Super Bowl and we contributed to it as scouts, I think. Um, those are the kind of moments that make you feel like it's all worth it. Hey guys. The Washington Commanders hire Dan Quinn to match with their new general manager, Adam Peters, to lead this franchise into the future. The thing that Dan Quinn will do is he'll galvanize a football DQ team. DC, it's hey, the buddy. line of the day. Yeah. How you doing, man? He's hired. Thanks, man. No, I'm fired up. He's, he's, he's a stud, man. He's a good guy. Oh, man, I'm so fired up. He's a stud. He's a stud, man. He's a stud. So, he's a stud, man. Congrats on DQ. Thanks, man. He's a stud, huh? Yeah. Stud. He's genuine as hell. And it, it comes across great. The players are going to love it. The building's going to be freaking awesome. Yeah. So, That's who he is every every single day, every interaction, man. Yeah. He's a stud. D DQ's a, you know, he's a giant killer. You have an opportunity to create now. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. A good hire, man. You hired a good person. Oh, man. I'm fired up. He's like 15 and 3 against the NFC East. That came up in your research? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you're gonna be so fired up, man. You're gonna wanna play your ass off for him. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's a special dude, man. Yeah, I couldn't be happier, person, man. A leader of men. Yeah. And he's a good ass coach, too. Yes, yeah. Yes. I mean, the ownership's incredible, dude. And uh, it's just been, the experience has been really, really good so far. You guys have been awesome, just supportive, communicative and um, they're, you know, they're doing it for the right reasons and um, they just want to make this team really good. How you guys doing? What's up, man? Oh, I'm glad Congratulations. Now it's a surprise. A surprise. <laughs> oh, oh man, so happy to see you. Congratulations, yeah, man. I'm so pumped, man. Congratulations. So cool. Hi, Stacey. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. So happy to be with you guys. Over here. What a cool surprise. So yeah. That's just like we just got it this morning. So I know. Great. Yeah. You have no sleep. You did good. Yeah, we're great, man. Yeah, we're rolling on the red eye. We're good. Yeah, you guys. You guys had a few you planes, so. Yes. We got in this morning and went straight out with the realtor. Night. Yeah. And then started Kelly. looking. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Hit the ground yeah. running. That means yes. a lot that you guys came out, man. This oh, is really man. cool. I wouldn't miss it for the world, yeah. man. Well, I think one, um, you know, like coming here because there's a like cool tradition with the franchise. Like fans are going to be ready and rocking and love football so it's always been something um, whether I was in Atlanta or Seattle to play here or anywhere else you know no one coming in it's going to be a cool environment because of the fan base that's what sometimes makes the stadiums fun <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, Doug? How you doing, dude? Good to see you, man. How's it going, brother? Yeah, you too, brother. All right. Welcome. How you doing, guys? All right. Yeah, you got that right. Good. Good. Make us think about it every day when we walk in. That's right. All right, man. Well, thank you guys for uh, for welcoming me here today, man. I uh, couldn't tell you how pumped I am to be here. So. Let's get this whole thing a rocket. All right. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. He's here. And you're back here. And this is where I was. I'm still moving out. So I don't worry about this. And I got a little kid to work Coach. Hey, welcome aboard, man. I am a. Here we go. Here we go. I, it is definitely, uh, it was awesome. I uh, thought of you a lot today as I walked into your old office and uh, looked out onto the field, as I'm sure you know that view quite well. And uh, just let you know, man, it was uh, really cool thinking about you driving up, uh, you know, to the building today. And uh, I am absolutely pumped to get rolling. I can still remember uh, you being nice enough to visit with me um, when I was in Atlanta and first came up to Charlotte to see you. 
and uh, we talked about a whole bunch of things and that day meant a lot to me in getting ready uh, to coach my first team and so the fact that uh, I get to come back and visit with you again uh, it's cool as hell. Well I gotta tell you I am thrilled for you I remember what that was like and I did not sleep for two days because <laughs> I was so worried about the staff. Yes. And that's what you've done. And so congrats on Kingsbury, Coach Kingsbury, Coach Witt. you got a uh, – that's an awesome start. And I, I remember how important that was for me yep. because, as you know, it's not – it's not us just being the head coach. You got to have a great coaching staff, and I know that Josh and everybody there is behind you as far as going to get those guys. So I thought that was great. Yeah. I always wanted to coach someplace where football was really important. Me too. It's really important there. Yes. Because you you got the most powerful city in the world. The only thing that brings that city together is that football team and i love that part of it because yes there's pressure there you got yes the and all that, but you want it to be something special and there it's special and that fan base they're ready they want to come back they're ready to uh and so i i think you've got honestly i think you got the best coaching job in the world yeah so. i couldn't agree with you more and uh it was interesting what you said jerry on my way out of dallas about said the same thing he said Football and the National Football League and the franchise is so damn important, you know, meaning here in Washington. He said, you do it there, you know, you light the whole thing up and he said it just goes. And uh, he said it's really important to have a good kick-ass team and you're going to do great, damn. But it was just, he almost echoed just what you said, how important this team is to this city and to this area. And uh, I'm with you. I'd much prefer to coach somewhere that uh, people are absolutely – jumped about it and ready to go as opposed to the other way. So, uh, yeah, bring it on. I'm, I'm, I couldn't agree with you more, man. <laughs> well, I, I, I know what you're, uh, I, had, I had that feeling, that feeling you got right now. So I just want to applaud, welcome you and say, hey, look, we're here. I'm, I'm probably the biggest fan you're ever <laughs> of the commander. So I'm on board with you. Well, so I, I just I, I just want to call and congratulate you and say welcome aboard. And I thank your ownership there. They all grew up in D.C. Yep. They love it. And so you're off to a great start. So man. go get them, man. You already know I will, Joe. And I appreciate it, man. The call means a ton. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in person soon, man. You got it. All right. All right man. Thanks. All right. All right, Dan. All right. Bye-bye. See you. Coach Quinn, you ready to rock? Yes. Yeah. Man, this is, uh, this is such an awesome moment. And what an outstanding privilege and honor and absolute joy to be sitting here uh, beside these outstanding men. I know you're just starting to know me, and that's going to take some time because building trust, it always does. But I can't wait to start earning it. And that includes the players, it includes the staff, every single man, woman in this organization, and each and every fan, because that is who makes up the entire Washington Commanders team, all of us. And I'm gonna give myself a little grace and allow one swear word here, because I've done a pretty good job so far, I haven't had any, and I swear a lot. <laughs> but there is nothing I enjoy more than doing hard sh with good people. And these guys here, they're some really good people. I cannot wait to get it rocking here. I can't wait. And so we'll hit the ground running. There's lots to do. And uh, but I want to let you know, man, I've been waiting on this moment. And uh, so to be here with you guys today, I cannot wait to get this thing rocking. So with all that said, let's begin. The word rebuild came up a couple of times during Adam's press conference. Do you view this as a rebuild? And if so, What's the process of, of going through a rebuild and time frame wise, how do you want your team to kind of take shape? No, I, you will not hear me say the word rebuild at all. This is a recalibrate, finding our north again. There is no timeline on that, but we will push it hard. Boy, Deron Payne putting the team on <laughs> his McLaurin, an amazing catch. I want to make sure above all things that our identity takes place about how we play football. You've got to be bold, you've got to be aggressive. When people watch us play, they know what Commander's football looks like. John Dotson, wide open, into the end zone! We are going to be explosive, we are going to be physical. Brian Robinson bulldozes into the end zone! Submarine by Derek Forrest. There's a lot to get done, but I honestly do not see that word as part of my thinking at all.
All right, sounds good. Just looking straight to you? Yep. All right. You know, going into this, I thought, you know, for the last few years, I've said the five words that would have been hard were, um, if I get another shot. And if I did, I wanted to make sure that there were a couple markers that I was looking for to have, you know, an ownership group that was going to support the team, you know, at just the highest of levels. I wanted to make sure I could partner up with a general manager, you know, to be shoulder to shoulder with, knowing that that's what this job takes, you know, at a championship level from personnel to coaching and all the decisions that go through it. And I also wanted to be part of an organization and a fan base that like was absolutely going for it. And so you had to have those things in place. So that's why for me, uh, this was the job. And as you're a head coach and you go into the, you know, the next phase, I certainly look back to find what went good. You know, what was the success? Where was the adversity? And then where do you learn? Some lessons you can study, some lessons, man, you just gotta live them and you gotta go through them. And that's when you have those moments and you've seen them and you've learned them, you wanna take that lesson and then you wanna run like hell and go prove it.